Hi everybody, we're looking for the four marker from extract one. Um, in truth, nothing stands out explicitly as a four mark question. What I think is far more likely to happen is that you're going to get two little definitions questions to start you off in this exam. And normally that's how OCR exams are written. The first couple of questions are very simple, just to ease you into it, to um, ease your anxiety, to get you confident and get you into the exam paper. So I won't be surprised if it's the first two of these three. I'm not so sure about trade barriers, but I think the first two definitely. So what is meant by globalization? What is meant by foreign direct investment? I think very likely. And if they came up, what do you need to do? You need to give an OCR approved definition word for word and you'll get your two marks. So what is meant by globalization? We will say it's the process by which national economies have become more integrated and more interdependent. That'll be enough for two marks. What is meant by foreign direct investment? Well, this is when multinational corporations invest in physical capital. Give examples of what that might be, whether it's new machinery, whether it's software, whether it's factory expansion or factory building. In that overseas operations or in developing countries, you can say. As long as you stress that it's overseas, away from their home country, where they have their headquarters. Make that clear and you've got your two marks. What is meant by trade barriers? In case that one comes up, you would say it's any obstacle that prevents trade from taking place. Um, so for example, you would then say a tax, which is a, a, sorry, a tax, a tariff, which is a tax on imports, a quota, a quantity limit on imports, domestic subsidy, administration barriers like red tape, like uh, product standards, like environmental standards. You give those examples. Uh, you might want to talk about an embargo, which is a ban on imports. And then you've hit your, you've, uh, hit your two marks. So that's what I think is likely to come up, these first two questions I definitely see as um, you know, what could be the first four marker in your exam. Alright, so just make sure you're prepared for that. Don't forget guys, I've got this incredible model answer guide for you which covers all the potential questions that are likely to come up this summer with perfectly detailed model answers to guide you. And if you learn those model answers and recreate them in the exam, you are going to score very, very heavily. The questions that I put in there are very, very likely to occur in your exam. So to get that guide, the link is in the description box below. Follow it and get it. I heavily recommend you having that as a compliment to your revision. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next video.